everyone. How's it going out there? Hopefully uh, all y'all are doing good out there and are going into the last month of the year on uh, good on good high terms. And also, uh, you know, you're going into the last leg of the holidays with a, uh, you know, with a bit of a chipper demeanor. Because uh, I know that wintertime is a, a tough time for some people out there. A lot of stress, a lot of drama, a lot of stu- a lot of nonsense, trust me. I, I deal with a lot of that in my personal life in terms of like my families and everything. But that it is, but that is what it is. Uh, I guess that's just part of dealing with stress over the holidays is just, you know, those times you get to spend with family, I guess. But I don't know. <sighs> but one thing that always blows me away is whenever Badger releases a video because you never know when that psychopath is just going to release a video like, surprise! <laughs> and lo and behold, here he is with a Rainbow Six C- what is this, 2018? Jesus. Badger... Is that when that came out? No, bad. No, Rainbow Six Siege has been out for a long time, but the fact is, Badger used to only do mostly Rainbow Six Siege videos. Oh. That's what he was known for. He was the Rainbow Six Siege guy. He did a video for every operator, you know, every person you could play as in the game. Oh. And everyone was just like, oh, Badger, do a video on this. Oh, Badger, do a video on that release. And then eventually, Badger stopped having fun with Siege. And he decided, you know what? I'm not having fun anymore. I'm going to branch out and I'm going to do other games. <clears throat> so he started doing other games. And then he stopped doing Siege altogether. And then there were people who were like his old school fans. They were just like, how how could Badger do this? I can't believe he would abandon Siege like that. And given the course that Rainbow Six has taken over the last couple years with extraction and the uh, updates to Siege that have, in a lot of ways, to a lot of the diehard fans, have made has made the game unplayable. Like, completely and totally unplayable. And it's just... And a lot of, there's a lot of people out there who are pissed. But Rainbow Six Siege was, was fun. Key emphasis on the word was fun. But, yeah. And I guess Badger is feeling nostalgic this week or this month and is playing Rainbow Six Siege and the video is titled Mustard Beef Turns Rainbow Six to Ash. Oh god. <laughs> Mustard Beef. I, I know the reference there. That's a reference to Master Chief from friggin' uh, uh, Halo. Oh. Mustard Beef! Like, they put the Master Chief in the soda. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's a whole... Ugh. It's a whole story. But anyway, we got this queued up here. I have no idea what lies ahead, but I do know that it's Badger, so this is going to be a wild ride. And for those of you wondering why Nick isn't here, good question. Actually, the only word he said is like, Rainbow Six Siege. No, never again. <laughs> and thus, here we are. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Rainbow Six Siege is a game where you try to defuse bombs. If you touch the defuser, I'm breaking your fingers. Do not touch the defuser. <laughs> <laughs> At least, it was at one point. I guess now it's about hamster cheeks fighting aliens in a Gucci tracksuit. I don't know. Oh, you looking kind of fresh, though. It's also a game that changed my entire life. I used to be in my rent with Siege. I used to travel the world for Siege. It was yeah. really just Canada, but it technically is international travel. I even got to dumpster <laughs> Lil Yachty with my homie T-Pain, all because of Siege. I can yeah. put you in a mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Until one day, it was In late 2020, I stopped playing altogether for reasons so secretive that even my AI Badger clone wouldn't tell you. Bro, you could while not have gotten that out of me with a gun and a jug yours. of gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> that is until today. Now that Monster Beef is officially canon in the Rainbow Six universe, it's about oh, time boy. for me to come back and finish the story. I mean the fight. This is canon. This is oh, canon. Yeah, you yeah, can't okay, tell me otherwise. This is canon. To tell you why I left, to tell you why I'm back, and to tell you how impossible oh, this game is nowadays until you figure out one single mechanic. I have autism. <laughs> it's about right. That's, that, given the, the type of people who are just like the... The sweaties in, in a lot of these a lot of these lobbies, yes. A lot of them do have autism. And it's very obvious. 
Because man, comparing what Rainbow was to what Rainbow is make me feel mentally ill. We got Master Chief and we got some dude with a car battery in our game. <laughs> I want to start by giving away an absolutely stupid amount of money to my friends. Man, so fucking dumb they caused inner city public schools to be defunded. <laughs> you guys know these <coughs> just wouldn't be the same without my homies screaming at each other. You acting all mad and I got you an Intero, you goofy bitch. So I'm giving away a hundred thousand dollars to friends that appeared in videos this year. Get the the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm dead serious, and I need your help to do it. All you gotta do, download Opera GX to sponsor this video. I know, you're tired oh. of me telling you to download Opera GX. This is num this is the third time now we've been told to download Opera GX. I mean First it was Martin, then it was Seth, for, no, first it was Seth, then it was Martin, now it's Badger. Jesus, Opera is just throwing out all the money this, like, this holiday season. Well, you just gotta do it. I did! <laughs> That's sort of how I feel. <laughs> just like, you keep throwing Opera GXs in my face, like, I already got it! What more do you want from me? Scammed Opera GX into sponsoring this video by respecting all my stats into charisma and convincing them I do a quality ad read. When really I just wanted to give away a hundred grand to my homies. So if you don't download Opera GX, your Jordans are fake. It's the best browser <laughs> ever made. I, I'm sorry, what? I'll fight you on that, Badger. I will find you at a convention and I will show you my J's are real. It caters to my insect-like attention span. When I'm watching a boring ad YouTube video like this one and make the mistake of opening Twitter, Opera GX automatically minimizes the video to the lower right. That way I can get bullied on Twitter without missing out on that dumbass video I didn't want to watch. Look at that. Opera GX is even nice enough to lie to me and say that I look stunning when Bing and Sydney <laughs> think I got hit with the face poser tool. Some of you are oh getting pissed about me telling you to download Opera GX while using <coughs> Opera GX while not using my Opera GX mod. Hit the mod tab, store button, search badger, show more, install that fixes the problem and kills the crap. If you don't like my mod, then find another one in the Opera GX store. They're basically endless. Import all your settings from Chrome in just a few clicks, and even your extensions still work, like this one that lets me save any image in any format. Download Opera GX using my link below so I can give I did not know that extension existed. I need that extension. <laughs> that extension is a lifesaver because the, there is no standardization for like image saves on like Google searches and it's either like WebP, PNG, AVIF, JPEG, and oh my god. It hurts. It it hurts just like Well now you can use that feature. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Badger. Just for that, there's a like. Give a hundred grand to my homies and satisfy the Opera GX gods breathing down my neck. I am begging you. Now, transitioning back to the video, the reason I stopped playing Rainbow Six Siege is hey. one word, progress. If you happen to be in Canada, progress. Making the very best YouTube video that I can is my life's obsession. It occupies nearly all of my time, and it's basically who I am. But the harsh truth is that Is that real? Badger. It occupies nearly all of my time. Is that real? 5,958 hours. Hold the phone. How many days is that? How many days is that in Source Filmmaker? 5,958 hours divided by 24. The man has spent almost 250 days. 250 days in Source Filmmaker. Oh. God, that hurts. I'm, and it's basically who I am. But the harsh truth that I've learned about these videos is that if I want my very best, I have to be uncomfortable. The more I struggle with the unfamiliar, the challenging, the I don't know what the fuck I'm doing feeling while making a video, the more my skills progress. And there came a point where Siege was none of those I, things. I it agree. was easy, it was comfortable, and there was no challenge in making a video, which is when I knew something had to change. I gotta stop taking these gas station dick pills for real. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since then, I've tried to make each video on a different game to keep the challenge and therefore the progress as high as possible, like an intentional increase in difficulty. We call this a difficulty and this video is no exception, because oh man, I am the Russell Wilson of Rainbow Six Siege. I used to be very good at this thing, Love but I'm no longer good at this thing. Uh, let Russ cook, let Russ team. cook, don't worry, he's gonna Could turn it around. The... Broncos, let's ride. Coach literally told Russell yeah, Wilson to quote, you. shut the fuck <laughs> up, dude. Yes. Well, oh gosh. 
You know the demands that that guy had Russell Wilson. Uh, Russ, Russ, you know when he left Seattle and he and he joined the Broncos, they basically gave him everything he wanted, including uh, like his own private office. They gave him his own like private coaching staff. Mm-hmm. They gave him all the money, all the amenities, everything. And his first season, uh, he said, he said, "Oh, don't worry, Broncos country, let's ride." And the motherfucker goes five and twelve. They then promptly fired the coach that fucked that up and hired another coach that wasn't going to take Russ's shit. Mm. Russell Wilson became god awful. Was god awful that one season that he called all the shots. Then Sean Payton, the the new head coach, comes in and he's just like Russ, because Russ was like trying to lead the meeting, and he literally told him to sh- sit down, shut the fuck up. Like, I'm the coach. Mm-hmm. And then Russ tried to, like, flex and be like, well, I have my own private office. It's just like, oh, really? Well, hold on. Let me call my friend who's a brick mason, and uh, we will brick up the door that goes to your office. How's mm-hmm. that? And basically... Did he really said that? Oh, well, in... Well, not as creatively, but he basically yeah. told Russ, he's like, yeah, you don't have an office anymore. Offices are for winning quarterbacks. Mm. And Russ is not a winning... Uh, was not, at that point, a winning quarterback. Now, since since Sean Payton has come in and basically, like, slapped some sense into Russell Wilson, Russ has actually been pretty good this year, and the Broncos have a winning record. I, I still can't believe I ex- those words actually left my mouth. The Broncos have a winning record with Russell Wilson as their quarterback. Hell is officially frozen over. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. (laughs) Don't get me wrong, I have thousands of hours in this game, and I still know how to cheese an enemy team with a sledge rush. Ops thought I was lacking, so I cut a hole in a watermelon and stuck my (laughs) dick. Wow. God. Wait. Ops wanted God. some initiative. Ops oh, wanted shit. Oh, some shit. initiative. Oh, shit. 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 Yes, sir. This is an ace. Keep this going. Be an ace. Leave him. We're going to plant, mm. and he's going to come for me, all right? Let's go. Ace. Jesus, Badger. <laughs> those rounds were few and far between, and something felt a little bit off. Like I knew what I was doing, but I was still getting dumpstered by randoms, and I could not figure out why. At first, I thought it was the new operators, because I was hearing all kinds of names and gadgets for the first time. Osa, Brava, Sans, Kledge. It felt like hearing a Zoomer-ass TikTok comment section out loud. What the fuck are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> Just rizzed up, Livy done. Mr. Riz Electric. <laughs> Send this, Skibbity. Stop it. No, no. No, get get out. Get what the fuck. Mean? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Riz is short for charisma, and Skibbity is basically like the Skibbity toilet. Me. Oh my god. Not to the Skibbity <laughs> dimension in half of Ohio. The entire no, first day, oh my I constantly god. found myself saying, I did not know that. I did not know that. I did not know that. I did not know an operator did that. I did not know a gadget did that. I did not know a map did that. I have never felt so dumb while playing a video game. And just when I thought <laughs> I had hit rock bottom dumb, Heavenly told me that black people can sunburn, and it made me feel even dumber. <laughs> <laughs> really, Badger? You didn't know that? Badger! Oh my god. Dude, I knew, like, it, here's the thing. Michael Jordan talked about, like, when he was playing golf too long in the blazing Arizona sun and got sunburned. And then he went out and he played in a game in the NBA, or in the, not in the NBA Finals, but, uh, it was, was it the NBA Finals? I think it was. In the NBA Finals against the Phoenix Suns. Mm. And... I remember, like, as a kid, I was going to be like, be like, oh, man, I can't believe Michael did that sunburn. And then years later, I heard my friend saying, hey, man, you know black people can't get sunburnt, right? And I was like, yeah, they can. Like, <laughs> he's like, no, they can't, dude. Literally, the, mel- like, the melanin in their skin makes it to where they can't. I'm like, Michael Jordan is one of the darkest brothers on planet Earth, and that motherfucker got sunburned. And he's like... When that happened, like 1993 NBA Finals, dude. I was five years old when I heard that shit. Hmm. And he was like, Nah, bro, you're lying. You're lying. 
it's yes, like people can get sunburnt. They're humans. Yep. Because yet again, I did not know that. I like the sun on my skin, so I don't end up looking like a vampire. Hold on, Heavenly. <laughs> Does the sun change your skin color? Yeah, I get darker in the sun. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I must be mm -hmm. mega racist, because I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, too. We can sunburn, you just won't see it as much. You know what, this is a mystery that I was just never gonna get the answer to. You know, like, do you have to refrigerate peanut butter? It's like, I'll never yeah. know. I'll never know. There will never be a right answer. I Thank do not refrigerate elaborate. ketchup. You are allowed to shoot me if you don't like that. And even the Heavenly? How can I- moles. Yeah, how have you not died from, like, a bacterial infection? What the fuck? That's nasty, dude. Ugh. Operators I did know from way back when were all reworked and different. When I left, Capcan was a guy that could put a bomb on a doorway. Now he could put five bombs on a doorway, turning him from a minor annoyance hiding in a closet into Oppenheimer, the destroyer of quadrants. If yes. you come in this doorway, you are atoms. You are Yes, atoms. you are you are disintegrated. <laughs> five on one. Hit him with the Oppenheimer <laughs> special, bro. Yeah, that's what the door looks like when the ATF looks for my switch collection. Right. Insert Hole. Fork. My residence is a tomb for federal agents. <laughs> there are so many people in this area who ha I guarantee you would have that meme proudly hanging over top of their of their doorway. Right. Are those level four plates? <laughs> oh, well, see you later. oh wow! Dude, call my girl Sloppenheimer the way I get this bomb. Wow. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Did I just hear the words? <laughs> Yes. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to have yeah. CPAP to regain my breath here, dog. <laughs> and I got a kill with that I did not hear the word slop. <laughs> yes, you did. Getting a kill with the Sloppenheimer special was satisfying, especially because the explosion from Lion's <coughs> perspective was just a single frame of audio before he was vaporized to ash. Whoa. <laughs> just just you know it's a big explosion when everything just goes silent. It's just like, yeah, he had a bad time. Answer to my question: Why am I so ass? Why am I getting slammed every round? I died. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you turn it? No way! No way! You just turned into Donald Duck and did like a head flop down the whole stairs. Yes, he did. Oh, I'm hold on. Kind of accidentally slammed his penis in the car door. <laughs> Streaming it on Twitch made it even worse. Chad is watching me play a game that I have thousands of hours in, and I'm getting dominated in casual. Yeah. What the hell happened to me, Minecraft Steve? This is downright shameful. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it 100. We not making it out of the nether with this one, Minecraft Steve. You bought the trash. <laughs> Shut up, no. <laughs> Even when I was starting to cook by using operators that dominate casual lobbies like Mira, my Twitch chat would still not give me an inch. Oh, I am just nasty. I think they're Yeet. All right, nope. to come. Yeet. Nope. Fuck yeah. <laughs> wow, you free fire. Oh, you still lost. The first thing that I see after I goof that up, dog shit beta male in chat. <laughs> that I think in uh, like every competitive male gamer like automatically sees that in their head every time they die. And they and they're just like, I'm a beta male. I'm a beta male because I lost to this bitch boy over here. <laughs> I felt so stuck because on one hand, I was having a blast playing with buddies I hey! haven't seen in forever, like Martin, the voice actor for Mozzie. Yes, Martin's yes. here. Let's fucking go. Yes, Let's go. Let's go. Martin, I saw you in game earlier. Your dude is just so ugly. They did you so dirty. They did you so dirty. Like Martin, Martin in real life, yeah. dashingly handsome. Martin in game, what did they do to you? What did Badger they do to you? Not going to lie, Martin, you're fucking hideous, dog. Wow. Uh, yeah, he looks like he does in a Appropriate things with inappropriate people, that's for sure. Cool. Literally yeah. haven't talked to Martin yeah. in like a year. Yo, Martin, your face is busted. <laughs> but on the other hand, I was still getting clapped after several hours of streaming. I was warmed up, I was ready to go, my aim was tight, but I still wasn't really feeling the Rainbow Six Siege magic that I remember. And it was so frustrating, I found myself agreeing with my evil AI clone that Skulker made. This dude killed me in Siege, so I tanked his credit score and stole his catalytic converter. <laughs> I'm wanted in seven countries for reversing the flow of time with ego killing Chrono Zaza. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's AI Badger. Literally, Skulker has got so many voice clips of Badger. 
He put it in an AI program, and he can literally type up anything he wants, and it comes out like that. Hmm. Yes. Badger, even if he, even after Badger is dead, he will still be giving us God tier content simply because Skulker made an AI of him. Maybe it's my teammates because if I can't put my thumb on what's wrong with my gameplay, I'm gonna point the finger outward. Back in my day, I was a platinum player. I'm seeing a whole lot of copper in this lobby with Gary and Lythero not knowing the difference between a plant and a plant. So it's gotta be my teammates, right? Yo, what the? <laughs> Rick Sanchez. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta do it. I gotta so do it. Gotta be my teammates, right? Yo, Check it out, Morty. I'm an operator in, in siege. No, no, I did not just see who I think I saw. Oh my god! I'm in here. I'm in here. I'm in here. I'm in here. Get out of my fucking way, Buck. I'm gonna do it for real. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I got the plant. No. Go, go, We're in there, like, go. Squidward. No, I mean the actual physical ficus. Fuck fake. Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind. Forget. <laughs> if you don't plant right now, dog. I don't have the diffuser. <laughs> it's oh, like Nero. Etto, Etto, blah. This is fire. Are we at fucking McDonald's? Hey, can I get a pickup, hey, 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 pick dog? <laughs> no, you were bait. You were perfect bait. All right, I need a better call up. I'm gonna shit, dog. It goes to you, right? All right, let me let me let me go be a drone. Oh, you, okay, Badger, you rushed that so bad, dude. Oh. Whenever you said like go plan like to someone else, I was like, I guess they got the bomb. And then I looked at my ass and I was like, I was like, oh shit, hold on. Turns out this additional weight on me isn't my sins; yeah. it's the diffuser. Honey, is this my lunch? <laughs> Did you make me a bento box, honey? Turkey salad sandwich in the diffuser. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. It's a nightmare. Literally a, a lobby full of squidwards. SpongeBob, why are you late to work again? Uh, 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 uh. Damn it. Oh my god. But that was an idiot. The more I pointed the finger at my homies, the more it felt like I should be pointing it at myself. Siege is a team game, but losing individual gunfights and making poor decisions was 100% my fault. I know what it is. Sound. It's gotta be all that dipshit noise flowing into my ears throwing out my game sounds, right? You know the worst part about quitting spooking? What's what? That? The lack of nicotine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right? You know the worst part? It's just about quitting smoking you know for me this is what i imagine would like my mom my mom would literally be like mom mom i'm going to jail for tax evasion what? <laughs> that's literally what she'd do she'd be like what yeah uh black of nicotine <laughs> Why was he so loud? <laughs> well, sounds like reset my brain. I don't even remember it. <laughs> all the soundboard spam and all the screaming in Discord like I stole somebody's box, drowning out my in-game audio so I can't hear enemy operators. That's got to be the, the missing piece to my puzzle. That is all mm. Gary and he's not. I didn't even press anything, you goofy bitch. I heard you. I heard you. I didn't say shit. Yeah, you put the soundboard. You put that. You did. Yes, you did. You did. It wasn't you. So it was Clue. Uh -huh. speaking to make all of you uh -huh. quiet. Uh, it was actually me. Yo, are you ringing? Damn it, Clue. <laughs> are you no, ringing? I turned my shit off. You're are you so ringing? loud. Go are you away. ringing? You are so are you loud. Man? You are so, and you shot me in the ass. You <laughs> I didn't shoot you in the ass. The door. I did. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like I <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I love when we fired dead fight. Let's fucking go! What's so good when I know that you are just topping out your compressor? It's game over. There's blood in the water. The sharks are on their way. It's over. It's over. It's literally, it's literally just Quinn. Our area is spitting up Dog, blood. The, the less coherent the comms, the greater the momentum of the train I'm approaching the enemy you, team. Yes. He does this to me, and I don't know why he does it to me only. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. Can't believe it. He's pulling a U because every time it was just like. 
Yeah. This motherfucker runs up to me with his phone on full volume. We're sorry. Oh my god. You acted all mad and I got you an Intero, you goofy bitch. I got my own interrogation. You had to watch the door. It's like the three Stooges, and I don't know who the third one is. Listen, Gary, I'm sorry for shouting. I watched a lot of Jinxie before we started to get into cotton mindset. Wow. Hand to God. Right hand on the Bible. That motherfucker's cheating. That motherfucker is cheating. Gary Heavenly can max out their mics Jinxie style all game and still win. It's definitely not the sound. That's why you look like a rolled up chicken taco, you stupid bitch. Your head look like a doorknob, dog. Shut the shit up. Yo, chill, bro. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm running out of excuse. I mean, read. Here. I've been sweating like this for three days and I'm still trash. Trash. What's trash? trash? Delete. God. Uninstall. Damn. Trash. Juice. Trash. It's not the operators, not the gadgets, not my aim, not the sound. It might just be me. Maybe this is my life now. Am I the Cuphead meme? Am I just bad at video games? Am I forever destined to lose to all these dipshit zoomers to say words like Gat, Rizzler, and Phantom Tax? This can't be happening. That's not fucking possible. I gotta get to the bottom of this, because if I don't, it's gonna eat me alive. To do that, I rewatched all of my streams from the previous three days to see if I could figure out what was wrong with me. And I started noticing these rounds where I was randomly spraying bullets and didn't give a shit. Man, fuck this. I'm gonna go put some chicken fry. Oh, that oh, oh, oh. Jesus, Badger. <laughs> just like, it was like, eh, I'm just gonna shoot that wop dead. It was like, holy shit! This game is just shoot bullets through a wall. This is so incredibly dumb. Like, I had no idea where he was. Shoot bullets through wall win game. The rounds where I was playing like a dumbass, sarcastically pre-firing every angle, refusing to drone, and taking incredible amounts of risk were the same rounds where I'd ball out. Why, Why are we not are we droning? Why? Got him, got him, wall bank, crack roach, down. Does nobody have ears? Oh my god. Just a headshot, I'm cracked. I'm oh, way to free fire, bad. You guys already know that I play video games in dipshit mode to have fun. Not in the hill. I think they call that the spread, the spread eagle Uzi strat. You know, spread e at you know, legs spread eagle, like legs cocked out, and then two Uzi just to win. But I was starting to think that this devil may care attitude actually led to both. Okay, stand still. Okay, go at him. I'm gonna self juice and then we're gonna go after him. What's your right. gadget? Anabolic steroids. Hell yeah. Oh, okay, Ooh. they're there for sure. Where are they? Going for another <laughs> Oh, I'm Damn. I'm fucking nuts. I know how to play Rainbow Six Siege. I don't know why, but the dumber I played, the better I played. All this time, I was playing Siege like a tactical shooter where I had to outsmart the enemy with my gadget, my game sense. I don't think I've killed someone in the last two hours. God is ass. I'm a god. Nice. When I should have been playing it like a power washing simulator. The more you spray, the more you win. More yeah. you I'm shitting. just I'm nuts. Shitting. I even did a 10-man custom my match god. just to ingrain this silly mode in of my brain five of my buddies against five of my other buddies with all 10 of us in the same discord call everybody can hear everybody so comms don't matter gadgets kind of suck and it's just 10 clowns and a chuck e cheese with automatic weapons <laughs> oh my God. that's a that's an apt comparison i will say i can that is i can visualize that perfectly i can literally imagine badger heavenly clue skulker uh bing uh, lithero gare all of them just like slowly walking into a Chuck E. Cheese and just like throwing a wad of cash to the employees there and be like, yeah, yeah, uh, don't worry. We'll lock up when we leave. <laughs> and then basically just going full, like, like full retarded gorilla in that place, just like wrecking everything. And then walking out and just like locking up. Then Badger looks back. He's like, you want to do this again? Like next Saturday? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I just pinged your ass like there. Oh, that is a hundred percent peeker's advantage. Uh, I just squeezed yeah. every drop oh, of ping oh, oh, out oh, of that root. Like... Hold on, wait, hold on. Free fire. There you oh, go. Nuts. Treating Siege like PDM instead of a tactical shooter made it feel like a whole new game. Just the fact that every operator has hundreds of rounds to fire in a one-shot headshot game suddenly felt absurd to me. Like, why wasn't I spraying random walls this entire time? Mickey, Calvin. And when I heard just three words in the Discord call, it felt like my sleeper agent activation phrase because it instantly made me remember what I was missing all along. I have autism. <laughs> <laughs>
that's like open sesame for Badger's mind. It just opens everything up. He's just like, wait. Um, I do have autism. <laughs> I'm playing Jaeger, and I actually do have it. This is like being real. This is like the last thing I was expecting to hear during a round MVP. A what? <laughs> I, 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 I it wasn't even saying. <laughs> The one moment everybody shut the fuck up. I don't know. <laughs> Usually everyone talks over me. Oh, my face is hot. Bro owns the spectrum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the missing piece of my Jesus. puzzle was Jaeger. You can stop worrying about grenades now. Once I started treating every operator as Jaeger, it changed the game. In case you don't play Siege, Jaeger is an operator canonically on the spectrum, according to Rainbow Six lore, and back yes. in the day, he was an absolute monster. We're talking 90% pick rate, to the point where people insta-locked him so hard, he broke the fucking chart. Killer gadget, yes. killer speed. It was, uh, oh my god. Every time you ran into a Jaeger on the map, it was just like, well, we're going a different direction now. So like anytime like you encountered one down a hallway and he was just like waiting there for you, it was just like, well, uh, y'all want to get the fuck out of here? Y'all, y'all want to like go the other route instead? Yeah, I know it'll take a lot of time, but there's a Jaeger down that hallway. <laughs> Speed killer weapon, he would peek you and kill you so fast it made his gigantic pilot headgear actually make sense. He's even had his speed and weapon nerfed multiple times in multiple different ways, and, and he can still, still ball out. She was actually prone. You do it too. You do it too. I dare you. Oh, I heard you on your drone, boy. I heard that shit. Yup, that's true. Mm -hmm. Pretending every operator was Jaeger made me rediscover the magic of Rainbow Six Siege. What about you? See, just pre-fire everything. It's so fucking dumb. Run around like a moron. Swing every corner. Spray every wall. Pre-fire anything and everything because you're the scariest operator ever to grace this game. I'm just gonna <laughs> juice myself and peek because I'm just a Sigma male like that. And I'm on a grind set. Sigma <laughs> male yeah, Wow. Grind set. Grind set. I'm not saying I won every game, but it made me start believing in myself. Like, even if my teammates hung me out to dry in a 1v4, I was not really worried about it. Finally, last operator standing. You gonna take this badge? Oh my gosh. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I mean, I have 40 bullets in that magazine. Like, just swing. Just swing and shoot. It's so just much swing. easier. This whole just game swing. is a different just game swing. if you just swing and shoot. Wow. I cannot believe that I suffered for three straight days of streaming all because I forgot about Drake. I mean, Jaeger. They must have amnesia. They forgot that I'm him. I was having a blast. Jesus. The homies were having a blast. And I had the confidence of a man. Okay. That. Oh, damn. my gosh. Well, that's brave. Also, nice gun, homie. And open carrying in a cracker barrel, though hopefully not blowing my balls off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did Kubla Kong just post in CTE? If it has tits or tires, I can make it swing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, All right, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> That'd be like a shirt Blake would wear. I'm pretty sure he has something similar. Oh my god, that. I think you're right. I think you are 100% right on that. <laughs> yeah. That dude, that dude is open carrying. That looks like a CZ. I was so hyped to have figured I think this shit out. I felt downright dangerous. Like I could take on anybody. I'm fighting one. the fucking shadow people in the 7-Eleven parking lot. I'm the one they wrote the Patriot Act about. I'm under federal investigation for crimes of Schedule 1 swag. Don't fuck with me, man. I own seven mm -hmm. shell companies that sell gas station dick pills. <laughs> and just when I thought things couldn't get any better, Ubisoft went and did the unthinkable. Master Sheesh, am I telling you what you're doing in that shiz? Sus. <laughs> Oh Sus. my god. Damn what? it. That's, so That's right. They took the Master Chief out of the soda and put him in the siege. Oh my god, this is canon. Oh, this is canon. You can't tell me otherwise. This is canon. <laughs> yeah, just for that end screen, you get Valor. Master Chief. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, crap. Jesus. Abster Meat. <laughs> Who just said. Mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> mustard, mustard beef. Question is, what's more cursed, Master Chief without the helmet or Master Chief without the armor? What the fuck? Am oh my I god. Oh, that that hurts. Also, why is Master Chief British? 
because <laughs> Sledge in the game is British. He's like, he's like, all right, governor, let's have ourselves a good time. Like, I... Mm. I looking at... <laughs> no. Bring like a body and leave the helmet on. No! Yo, he kind of fresh though. Okay. <laughs> it is, instead of just like, Master Chief, you want to tell me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. And all of a sudden, instead, it's the Cockney version. It's just like, he's like, Oi, Governor, I'm here to fuck shit up. Mm. <laughs> so, not gonna lie, this is way better than I thought it would be. Mustard beef being canonically British and more specifically Scottish in this universe makes it feel like you squatted up with Shrek. Don't get on an <laughs> ogre's bad side. I felt so bad for the defenders because if I was a regular ass up. human operator going up against a seven foot tall, genetically augmented super soldier weighing a thousand pounds, I too would be terrified. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah I, I, I found the enemy. It's it's me. It's me, Pulse. It's you, me. I found it extra amusing to waddle up to enemies in the Gucci tracks with a live frag grenade in my hands just to see what they would do. Time. What is the best y'all have ever thought of? Maybe this is just... <laughs> just like that. <laughs> yep. Oh my God. Look at just this. like that. <laughs> Basically, you're doing a martyrdom. <laughs> Basically, just like, it's like, yeah, I'm about to die. Might as well take him with me. Boom. Master Chief Helmet poking oh, around the corner, and it worked perfectly. Just to be lore accurate, I was extremely careless with my grenade throws and treated all my teammates as expendable. No, I won't let you do that to me. Y'all yeet. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, oh, that's me! Damn it. <laughs> I said oh no, you should have known. Oh no, 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 I got this, I got this. Watch this cook. Let me cook. That arm Let me no, cook. don't, cook. don't, Badger, Badger. Let me cook. Oh, 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 oh. oh, thank God, everything went good that time. Dog. I don't think Goobysoft could have picked a better <laughs> operator for Hamster Cheeks. Putting a hammer in his hands was absolutely the right choice. Oh, gonna smash, Master <laughs> Cheeks. <laughs> oh, no. And the fact that it's metal. you tank that so hard. And the fact that it is the gravity hammer, like skin from from the Halo games. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, Ouch. Man. Jeez. You're nuts. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I need to. Goodbye. <laughs> and when I combined my newfound siege knowledge of pre-firing any possible angle ever to exist in the universe like I'm Jaeger. That's great. With the most powerful character ever to be put in a soda bottle. Go off on Pete's sake. I can proudly say that my return to Rainbow Six Siege truly felt like finishing the fight. I just think you're getting pinched blood. You can do it. Master Hell yeah! We are so <laughs> fucking back. Master Chief on a casual Friday too. Check him out. We are so fucking back. We are so fucking back. You doubted the fit the entire time. It's so fresh. Oh That's so God. good. Three like box logos. Too. That's all the Rainbow Six I've got for now, but I promise to come back if Gooey Soft adds some more dumb shit, like Charles Entertainment Cheese or Frederick Fazbear. Ah! Damn. <laughs> when you enter into a Chuck E. Cheese without a child. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you will, yes. And that's about it. I'd like to thank you so very much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time when we continue the discomfort. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. My brain hurts, but in a good way. Oh, Jesus. So yeah, Badger, it, for, the, for the sake of humanity and, and your sanity, be careful going back to Siege. <laughs> be careful, please, because holy crap. So this, uh, like, this, this video was, was a lot of fun. I mean, you got some good laughs out of it. I mean, I mean, Heavenly and Gary yelling at each other. Yeah. That was, like... I've been in conversation... Well, okay, I say conversations. I've been in arguments with people that have been like that. It's just like, it's like you need to freaking stop. It's not me! What do you want me to do? It's like, I want you to stop doing this. Bro, I keep telling you it's not me. Yes, it is! I know it's you! And then our other friend who's in the lobby is like, Actually, guys, that's me. I'm just, <laughs> I was just like wanting to see you all argue, and then both, and then we're just like, and kick from the lobby, and like we we kick him out of the game, and that's that. It's like, 
Sorry for yelling at you. Yeah, I'm sorry too. But you are a bitch though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh gosh. So, Mustard Beef turns Rainbow Six to Ash. Oh god. So, I guess uh, if you want to see more from Badger, you know, hey, hit his name in the title of the video. The guy just keeps pumping the... Like, I hope that he's been building these up to release at least, like, two or three of them in this month. Because I know he's been... I'm not even saying he's been, he's been lacking. I mean, Badger always brings the pain with these. He always brings the A-tier stuff with this. And, I mean, I hope that he's been saving these up just so that he can uh, release, like, a few of these this month. Because I miss Badger. I miss watching these videos by Badger. And I'm hoping that... <clears throat> I'm hoping that we'll see more of him. Uh, rather than less of him. But for now, everyone, that's going to do it. So until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.